Alright, hello everyone. Welcome. So today we are going to talk about the uh, blurred images of an add-on, which uh, will be located here. It's a very interesting and very useful if you uh, are going to model uh, some vehicle or any character. So we, you can go here in the import, and uh, you will see that uh, here the import image is an add-on. If it's not activated, you can. If you uh, didn't uh, get it, you can go straight to the add-on and uh, type plain. You will see it import image as plain add-on, and you can click here to activate. So I will file. I will go to file import images add as a plain, and here uh, you can see that there is a lot of images. So I will select these three images. Uh, you can get from pixels. So it's not. It, I will use it to be shed, shedless and uh, it's not uh, alpha like this one you can say uh, there is some offset in the x axis to be 3 which is the distance between these images and I click board as you can see if you go to material we'll see that these are the images you can go to rotate it in the x axis This may be the right view. This is the front view. And this also may, may be to be in the back view, such as this. What about the BNG? Let's go to import images at plane. I will select this and use alpha will be our choice here. And import images at plane. So I will go here and uh, click OK. And it will be such as this. This is what uh, what I'm talking about. This is reference image, and uh, each of these reference images because they are BNG file, they have casting shadow uh, such as uh, here, and this shadow, as you can see, uh, because uh, the image or the uh, render engine uh, has the tracing all of the edges of and use. Uh, this uh, plane as a file which you can uh, render uh, again uh, which you can uh, you, I think uh, this is simulating uh, the reference uh, images and this uh, add-on is very very useful and you should use inside your next project I hope you enjoyed this lesson see you in the next tutorial